sometimes you just have an itch for a certain body part or a movement or an exercise and you feel like you just want to smash the hell out of it. Um, as soon as I go back from work today, I felt like I wanted to do some pulling. I wanted to do something with the posterior chain. I thought about block pulls, thought about rack pulls, thought about things like that. Haven't done them in a little while. I kind of just felt like I wanted to feel some heavy weight in my hands. Uh, I wanted to wrap it out. Um, it's kind of like, you know, deadlifting kind of always feels good to me in a way. You know, it's just like the positioning is not a problem. There's no mobility requirement. I just reach down and pull and have a great workout where I feel like I'm exerting myself maximally. I felt like I had all this energy I wanted to kind of remove from my body. And, and, and that's kind of the best way to do it for me. You know, with squatting, it's, it's all well and good. But I feel like, I feel like squatting is, man, it's half of the freaking battle is mobility. Um, half of the, the battle is like these accessory stabilizing muscles, which always get in the way and always kind of make me feel like, you know, I have to taper my efforts a little bit back before I snap my spine, that kind of idea. With deadlifts, man, like you can go as hard as you want and uh, always feel safe. The moment you feel some instability in the back, it's over, like, because that's the exercise for the back. Um, thought about it for a little while and I thought, why don't I do some hook grip deadlifts? Like, I have not done hook grip probably, pff, I don't even know. Like the last time I properly trained hook grip was the time probably when my son was born, so like six and a half years ago. Um, man, what a time that was. Where I, I was just using hook grip all the time. And that's kind of how I got to a 200, 220 uh, deadlift doing hook grip. And I loved it. Um, now that I think about it, the only reason I stopped doing hook grip was because I, I bought this Ohio Power Bar and the knurling was basically just chewing through my freaking fingers. Um, it was just so, so rough on my hands that... I just couldn't do it with a high frequency anymore. At that time, I was basically deadlifting kind of every time I trained. Uh, you know, but it wasn't anything crazy, you know. During that time, I didn't squat every day. There was nothing. Like, it was just like, come in for a deadlift, I'll deadlift. If not, I won't. Um, so today, I tried to do that. I worked up to a 180 uh, hook grip deadlift. Um, yeah, of course, the thumbs hurt. I feel like I've taken some skin off it, uh, off, off the thumbs. But, you know, that little period takes I don't know how long probably I remember the first time I started learning how to hook grip it took me I want to say month two months of consistently kind of you know deadlifting every single training session that I trained and I'll work up to whatever pain you know I could take and then stop there and then maybe put straps on or go over under grip or something like that I did that for a little while and by the time I, I reckon by the time you know six weeks rocked around I literally felt like I could have rack pulled with freaking uh, hook grip. It just wasn't was not a thing. Um, the pain's not an issue. What stopped me, like I said, was I felt like I was running out of skin. <laughs> um, the Ohio Power Bar is just, it's too rough. Like, unless you put like a crap ton of chalk into the knurling, so kind of like make that a little bit more blunt. Um, it just, it, it's too rough. That's why I kind of prefer a little bit more smoother bars. Um... Just because, you know, you know, you can, with a hook grip, you don't really need knurling. That's kind of how I always thought about it. Because you grab your thumb, that's your knurling. Um, so I did that, worked up to 230 deadlift. The, every time I, I deadlift at home, it's, it's crap. Number one, I'm making a lot of noise and I don't like that. Number two, the bar is so damn stiff. <laughs> I feel like I'm complaining about this bar all the time. But the bar is so stiff and it's just so unforgiving. So when I do 230 at home, I feel like I can do 250 in the gym. That's literally kind of the... You know, just 20 more kilos at least. Um, when I did 240 here, I feel like 260 would have happened in the gym. Just that little give kind of means a lot. Um, and then after that, I did some front squats and rows, and that was basically it. But hook grip, posterior chain, um, if I went to the gym, I probably would have tried 260. Um, all of these rowing uh, sessions that I'm having, I'm basically rowing every other day now. It's, um, it's really interesting. I don't know whether you guys have experienced this, but... I'm starting to feel my abs when I roll. It's so bizarre. I've actually just written a bit of a paragraph in my notes here. I'm feeling my, my abs. So the first time I did this, the, the barbell row, I never felt anything like that. But now that I'm kind of getting a bit more accustomed and my lower back is not giving me trouble anymore, it's not a, not a thing anymore, I feel like I can just roll and just focus on the upper back musculature, you know, feeling that contraction. I feel like my abs are now kind of starting to come in. Like I feel the contraction when the bar's going down. 
and reaches that bottom portion and then up. Fill the abs. Um, so I feel like I'm getting a little bit more used to rowing. And when I feel like I want to deadlift, you know, when I, when I feel like, mm, I want to I wanna put some heavy ass weight on the bar and, and give, it a, give, it a, give it a go. That's a really good indicator that my central nervous system is ready to hit it again. That's the feeling that I have. I want to fight. Um, that's the interesting thing. So this deload probably ends today, let's say. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do moving forward. Do I go back to back squats and hit that? Or do I spend just a little bit of time messing around with deadlifts? before I go, go back to back squats. I haven't back squatted now in a week, um, just messing around doing other things, rowing specifically. I'm really enjoying the rowing. Um, hmm, don't know, I feel like I wanna do some pulling. After spending 31 days of doing just heavy ass back squats all the time, I'm not kind of really excited to go back to back squats. I'm kind of like half wondering, should I pursue the front squats now a little bit? I'm kind of like bored. Not bored, but like I feel excited to do other things. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll see how I go. But today was a really cool energy about me. I wanted to deadlift. I wanted to rack pull. I wanted to deficit pull. I wanted to do all those things. Whether that's my body telling me that that's kind of what I need to do or not, I'm not sure. Uh, but that was the vibe that I had today. Um, and when you see me deadlifting at home, that's, I don't know, it's really rare. Um, but I think it's a good indicator that I'm kind of feeling all right now. So let's, let's see what happens in the next few days. It's kind of hard because, like I mentioned before, the 31 uh, day streak with squatting, that like two two or three weeks of, the, of that was maybe two weeks, know, three weeks. Just after two weeks was I'm on annual leave. And so I was kind of getting after it. Um, now I'm kind of working freaking almost every day now. So it's kind of different. But even on a work day, I felt really strong in my posterior chain. So that's kind of cool. Really cool. Um, and especially on work days, like when I have an early shift, not a late shift. When I have an early shift, I come home, like I feel stiff, you know, I feel kind of not ready to mobility. Deadlift, you just you just go down and pull and just fun. Squats, I need to kind of get down, you know, work on my internal, external hip rotation, all this kind of business. And then like after maybe half an hour, it starts to unlock, especially after a day like yesterday, I was like, man, screw this, let's deadlift. And by the time I work up to the, you know, one rep max for the training session, then I kind of feel a bit loose and then I can squat. But then by then I'm fatigued from the deadlifting. Anyway, whatever. Um, I feel like I'm rested now. And I, I feel like I want to take the deadlift a little bit. Deadlifts and front squats work well for me. Uh, I've mentioned this in the past. Deadlifts and front squats work well for me because both of those things in my eyes are all about back. Back squats are all about quads. Weird as hell, but that's the conclusion. So when I'm doing front squats and when I'm doing back squats, it's like I'm training the same damn thing. Beautiful. Uh, doing back squats, I feel like is just all about quad because um, the bar is in a comfortable position. It's not trying to freaking bend me over or anything like that. So it's kind of, uh, I think that's why doing all of these front squats, I feel like thoracic extension, lumbar extension, glutes, hip extension, everything, all the extensors are working and it's just like, let's do it. Let's. Let's do some deadlifts. And that's kind of the day I had. Anyway, it's been a long day. Let me um, wash up and uh, have some dinner and go from there. Appreciate you guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.